Hey everyone, here is your final product for your digital citizenship pathway. So just like all of the other slides and all of our other pieces, um, there's a quick overview of what you need to do. Um, this one's a little bit longer because we didn't get a chance to talk about this before we left school. Um, so feel free to take a look, watch it again if you have to, um, and ask your teachers for help. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna think about, hmm, what's a pledge? And we've listened to this song a number of times about the digital citizenship pledge. And you're gonna think about, well, what's a pledge? So your job is going to be to create a pledge that includes all the pieces of the digital citizenship um, pathway that you've learned so far. So you should include an idea for numbers one through six from this list you may not need number seven that's going to be covered in library media but numbers one through six are things that we covered in our pathway each of your pledges needs to include a piece of information about these things right here so media balance and well-being privacy and security digital footprint and identity and relationships and communication um, and we've put the slides that correspond to those topics for each grade. So you can take a look at those if you need help reminding yourself. We've given you four ideas as to how you can create your pledge. So you can use Book Creator, you could use a Google Drawing, you can use Screencastify, or you can create a podcast. Now, each of those are different ways that you can show us what you learned. And we've left some instructions and some helpful tools underneath in green. So any of those green links will take you to some tutorials or instructions. Some of them your teachers have created and some of them are things that we have found on the internet that would be helpful for you. This is how you're going to be scored. Um, so you're gonna be scored on four categories, content, vocabulary, presentation, and feedback and revision. So this is our single point rubric. You'll have until May 3rd to complete all the stops on your pathway, your final product, and your reflection, which I'll show you in a second. Remember that you are working towards making sure that you've met the success criteria for each of those four categories and how you can meet that success criteria is listed right here. Finally, after you are all done and you've submitted your um, final product onto Google Classroom, there is a brief form for you to fill out. This should not be completed until you are finished with everything else in your pathway. So go back to your digital citizenship pathway list on Google Classroom, make sure everything else is there first. Um, then you're gonna think about your form. And I'm gonna show you this because there are some things that are a little bit different. So the first thing you're gonna do is the, the typical name, school, grade. And then we want to know, how did you feel about the digital citizen path, pathway? Did you like this type of learning? Did you not like this type of learning? Why or why not? What part of it, so of it were easy? What parts of it were difficult for you? Um, we want to hear how you felt so that we can make it better next year. Um, and we also want to know, how is this connecting to your habit of learning goal? So did you choose problem solving? How were you a problem solver? Or were you working on your self-directed lifelong learning? How did you show that when you were working on your pathway? So those are all of the pieces. Make sure that when you are done, you've turned in everything on Google Classroom. And we will talk to you all really soon. Bye.